East Carolina will be kicking off and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Quick pass. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 40. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. He's at midfield. He's taken down at about the 49. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Looking for his man, incomplete. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. That's a great tackle at the 34. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Quick strike, and he drops it. From the 34-yard line, second down. And he hits him hard at the 22-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Fires quickly, touchdown! This entire group functions so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. The score now, 7-0. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Pirates' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. First down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. Gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. Makes the grab and gets knocked out of bounds. Gain of six yards. First down. He's taken down at the 29. That makes it first and 10. Kill, kill, kill! Black and he throws it away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29 yard line. Five wide. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And he 
can't hang on to it. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And they got him. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Fourth and long here after the sack. It has the distance, so the junior kicker isn't able to put it through. Still, our score, 7-0, Clemson. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get them in the face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Clemson is up a score. He's into the open field. That tackle could have saved a very big play. three-yard line and the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop this is textbook this is how you're supposed to play against the run from the three-yard line second down a short yardage defense here touchdown Clemson He makes the PAT, a seven-play, 62-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Sends it sailing downfield, and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Clemson's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium, is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made at about the 35. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. He's hit and taken down. Bring him down at about the 41. That brings him second and one. Watch number five. Don't kill, kill, kill. Give to the tailback. 
And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a gain of seven yards. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 34. Quick throw, brought down around the 13-yard line. Number 17 brings him down at the 13-yard line. First down. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. That was a well-drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. When you're in the huddle and the post route is called, the quarterback and the wide receiver get excited because they know that there's a chance for a big play. Here, the offense does a good job of protecting the quarterback, allowing the quarterback enough time to make that big throw, and of course, the receiver has the speed in the, in the hands to make the play for the touchdown. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers are having a ton of fun down there on the sidelines. You can just see that everything's clicking for them. It's looking easy. Now, remember, it's still early in this football game, and if I'm the defense on the other side of the football, I'm trying to come up with ways when we're on the sideline of what we can do to stop this powerful offense. Clemson is up by a touchdown. Throws to the fullback. They can't hook up. Incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Number 86 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 10. Let's go, let's go. Okay, we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle at the 34-yard line. Good possession there for the defense. Oh, excellent punt. He really didn't have any room to work on that front return. Yeah, but his blockers have to do a better job of helping him out. They didn't hold the coverage team at bay. They just let him right through. You always hope for that extra contribution from your special teams to take some of the burden off your offense. They've already shown the ability to move the ball, and that's what they're going to have to do again here. He steps up. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And he's level at the 21-yard line. So after one quarter of play, can it continue to be this high scoring? 14-7, Tigers. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. They'll spread the field with five wide. Red, two, Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 28-yard line. First down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Check, here we go, here we go, here we go. Dancer, dancer. Watch the motion. Watch the motion. And a quick throw. And he is drilled at the 36-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Kill, kill, kill! kill. Red seven, red Where? Where? And down he goes, around the 37-yard line. Go. 
Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. Four down, four down. Go! Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. They come out in a five-wide set. And they make the stop at the 37. Number 17. And this play is number eight on the drive. First down. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down at the 32. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Mike 12. Let's go. Let's get this last one. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. So they're going to go for it here. Tackle for a loss, and they'll turn it over on down. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Clemson up seven points. Black five, black five, go! And he's hit immediately. Field. Second down. He gets to about the 41 yard line. Hit out of bounds at about the 25 yard line. He gets out to about the 22 yard line. Call it again in three yards. That'll make it second and seven. his man and they take him down immediately. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense in their sight. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. Clemson is up seven. Now he tries to buy some time. And he tackled at the one. Makes the tackle. That's good. That makes it third and goal. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. 
They'll knock him down for a loss. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on him. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They've got their goal line set on the field. This might be a good time for some play action. Good outside run there. East Carolina will take their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Zips it to the back. He's tackled at the 19-yard line. Call a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. He's out of bounds at the 26. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's to the 40. Quick pass. Tackle made right around the 48-yard line. He showed some excellent moves out there. More than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps Black humming five, along. Black five. Red seven. Wants to go long and does. Uh, almost intercepted. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Green nine, green nine, X seven. Quick throw to the tight end, and he's tackled right away. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. There's a strike complete. He's knocked out of bounds at the 32-yard line. That's good for him. First down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Roger, Roger. Check by 12. By 12, by 12. Here we go, here we go. Red to the... This one's going deep to the end zone. He caught it for the touchdown. He's a nightmare to try and cover, and he showed you why right there. His speed just melts coverage schemes. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's scrambling. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball in the 23. So at the end of the half, we're deadlocked right now at 14. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Good thing we have these spectacular 1080p high definition monitors in here. All the better to see these offenses execute with precision in the first half. Yeah, I, we, I like having the old school black and white TVs too that show, that show a little bit of defense occasionally. But yeah, offensive plethora. I mean, you want to see uh, how to dial up a clinic on how to play offense? You saw it on both sides in the first half. I'm not I'm not sure that there was much resistance, but it's always fun to be able to dial a play up and know that it's going to work. And 
Every single time you go, hey, this plays money, this plays money, this plays money, and you saw it over and over and over and over. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. There's a play fake. He scrambled. And he's sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. They come up to the line here at second down and 14 after the sack. And he just gets rid of it. That's exactly how they drew it up on the sideline, and now they get the ball back. That'll make it fourth and 14. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Gets to about the 47-yard line. The Pirate staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're, they're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at, uh, at the front leading the way. They'll bring him down at the 42. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He goes out of bounds. The 39-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make a second and seven. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Easy, easy, easy. Brought down at the 31-yard line. Touchdown, Tigers! I can guarantee you'll be seeing that one in the highlight reels. What a great, great run. A real display of all the tools that he brings to the table. This six-point lead will soon become seven with the extra point. It's still in the third quarter. We've seen a great game the whole way. I wouldn't be surprised to see if these guys drive it back down the field again and tie it up. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That makes it second and eight. Slings it. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. Number 37 brings it down at the 32-yard line. Third down. And 
and down he goes around the 38 yard line. That's a game of six on the play. That makes it first and ten. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down at the 39. That's a game of one on the play. That makes it second and ten. Fires out to his wideout, and they make the stop at the 46. Game of seven on the play. That'll bring up third and two. After a decent pickup. So the ground game picks up another first down. Well, this really works on a defense's psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. He's going right. He gets another, and this is a big one. Touchdown! Make it three passes for touchdown. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. I'm kind of surprised. These guys are still losing after the type of game that this quarterback's having. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and to come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. It's the tailback. Nice gain as he works the right side. Fights forward to about the 29. No game. That'll bring up third and six. Larry, Larry. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Fourth down. Oh, excellent punt. Fielded at the 19. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. You know, you can almost see his confidence rising with every snap that he and this offense take. This drive would be a great time to add to those stats. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the front side. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Looks to his back, and he's got him again. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. And he is drilled at the 47. Number 
first of 17 on the technical at the 47 yard line. First down. Hey, watch number 33. Fires out to his receiver, and he's tackled right around midfield. That makes it second and six. Red two, go! He's got an opening, and he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Red two. Get to that quickly. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. That'll make it second and four. And now he's got room to run. That's a great tackle at the 25. That's good for a game of 12 yards. This is the eighth play of this drive. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. They bring him down in the backfield. So with one quarter remaining, we've got a stalemate right now, 21 apiece. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. and still completed it. He's hit and got away. He's tackled at the 17. They'll line it up for the field goal. That'll bring up fourth and one. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. And with that, all the pressure now shifts back to the other side. That's what a good kicker can do. East Carolina is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He's on the run. Makes it out to about the 33. He's hit and taken down. Here he goes. Gains his way to the 36 yard line. Him hard at the 14 yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Nothing this time around. 
Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Less than three minutes in the game. Touchdown, and they take the lead. Took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he converts the extra point. Clemson, the kick. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The Pirates have got to be fired up how this game is going. They still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog. It's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they could put six points up on the board. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. It's a great job here by the defensive coordinator with this play call. A lot of times you start to maybe think about blitzing linebackers. This time he keeps the linebackers back in position to be able to knock the football away and not give this offense a chance to pick up a first down. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 29-yard line. made right around the 38 yard line getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters they'll line up with five wide receivers makes it out to about the 49 that's first down a little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter I like the idea here by the quarterback looking downfield and eventually finding the check down to the running back. The problem is the running back has got to be able to hold on to that football to be able to pick up some yards. He lost the ball, recovered by the defense. That's a tough break, but he's going to get another chance today. What I want to see is if he'll change his running style after losing the ball like this. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's second and 10. Ball on the 38. Inside give. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. The Pirates taking their first time out of the half. Gets to around the 42. He gets another set of downs, and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 42. Under pressure. And they got him. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. 280. Watch the motion. Fire quickly, and he's got his man. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. A five-yard gain. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 43. A little over a minute in the game. Here's a handoff, left side. 
Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. is up it's got the distance and he nails the long field goal they're lined up to kick and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return he really got a hold of that kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback the Pirates have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 27. Kill, kill, kill! Spikes the ball. Third and long here. Let's see what the offensive coordinators come up with. And this quarterback needs a conversion here. Flips it middle to the running back. Tackle around the 30-yard line. by the senior and down he goes at the 45 the Pirates had a look at this somehow as a positive their star player had a great game they just got to look the next week yeah it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive but if there is anything to be positive about it's about that performance by this individual he, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing, but they can't build to the future around his abilities for sure.